just guessing, but you've likely never pulled out the measuring tape when setting your table, but our next guest film may inspire you to set up your game and step it up the next time you're sitting down to dinner. Set is a new documentary about the world of competitive formal table setting. Competitive formal table setting, where contestants plan their strategies for months to turn tables into stunning works of art. Here to tell us about this film is the director and producer of Set, Scott Gallick. Uh, he's joining us this morning from an amazing setup himself. Sipping a little tea, are we, this morning? Yeah, good morning. Here, uh, we're live, of course, in Los Angeles, and it's still the middle of the night, so <laughs> I just rolled out of bed, and um, nice. you, what you see is what you get. Hey, yeah, thanks for waking up early or staying up late for us. Listen, I didn't know this was a thing. I didn't know competitive table setting was a thing. How did you first discover this? I mean, uh, I discovered it um, by accident, really. I just, I visited the local fair here and they're, you know, they're pretty outrageous. You just, you, you stuff your body with all sorts of meats and foods and processed things and you're woozy and you overindulge on the beer. And I kind of walked into this room and there it was like a mirage, a competitive table setting competition. And um, I noticed there was like these ribbons on the tables and certain tables had first place, certain tables had no place, and I immediately had opinions about these tables. I've never had an opinion <laughs> about a table setting ever. And, and uh, I'm like, well, that one should have placed higher, that one should have placed lower, and I uh, kind of looked around, and everybody in the room was having the same reaction, and I realized that if this could make somebody care about setting the table, they could sit through a 90-minute movie. So <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And what were your parameters when you were looking at these tables? You were experiencing this in real life. You're like, okay, wait, should that have been closer to the edge? Should there have been more decorate? Like, what what are the what are the criteria here? Oh, oh, very important stuff when it comes to setting the table. I mean, you have to first off, there's these really important rules about everything needs to be an inch away from you know here. There's things need to be placed a certain way. Look, I don't compete in the competition, so you, we'd have to get somebody in the movie here to talk <laughs> about it. But I mean, they're beautiful pieces of art that mm. the people in the film, they spend six, seven, eight months setting the table. I mean, growing up, I try to do it as quick as possible and just get it done. But no, they like to like elongate the process. So you talk about them spending months like training, I guess. How do they train and prepare? Oh, yeah. So, I mean, one of the subjects of the film, Hillary, she likes to go into a hyperbaric chamber and kind of let the what? ideas come to her. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's it's uh, it's like a living Christopher Guest movie. Um, <laughs> and she she goes into these hyperbaric chambers and she 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 does she tells us that she doesn't build the tables. The tables build themselves and draws parallels to um, Michelangelo chipping away at you know the marble and saying that you know the the the, the sculpture is within the marble. <laughs> um, it, She's just a vessel to reveal it. And, um, you know, this year's table, as you can see on the screen there, wow. is uh, wow. she decided to do Africa. Yeah. But not just any Africa. It's uh, she wanted to spread awareness about poaching in Africa. So mm. her table has guns and blood and taxidermy and all the ladies of Orange County, California um, are up in arms. And there's a lot of drama in the movie about it. There's a lot of drama on these tables as well as we're watching this setting take place. So it's not as sort of simple as it sounds. These are, these are tables full of messaging and a lot of work, clearly. Has this, how did they all feel about being part of this documentary, by the way? I mean, I was a little nervous. They just saw the movie for the first time last yeah. week. And, um, you know, you wouldn't think that setting the table would have so much drama but uh, it does. They all like the movie, um, although, you know, they, they, come, they, they said that, oh, oh, I'm so relieved. I thought I was going to be the crazy one and everyone else <laughs> is. They all, they, they all mirrored the same thing. But crazy is not the right word. It's more passionate. Yeah. They just put their passion into this. This is their art. If you just replace the word table setting with art, it, um, it doesn't seem as strange. And it's just a movie that follows around these wonderful people preparing to competitively set the table in a lot of interesting revelations come out in it. I bet. And for you, from a personal standpoint, has it changed the way that you set your table? No. I mean, I still eat off paper plates, but um, <laughs> I definitely judge others a lot. I find myself, um, every time I've been to a restaurant or something like this, not that it happens that often right now, but, um, you know, I notice all these mistakes. Um, you know, the <laughs> forks on top of the napkin when you should be able to just take it off and put on the lap. And these are things, you know, I grew up listening to punk rock. I never would have had opinions about this, but here I am, you know, <laughs> having opinions judging about other it. table settings. Okay, I have two final questions for you, Scott. One, um, what does the ribbon in front of you say? 
Well, this is a prop. So this particular <laughs> one says um, division winner. Uh, but in the movie, they're all going for best of show and they right. can spend up to $7,000 on their table wow. just to win a 50 cent ribbon and the bragging rights for an entire year that well, they won well, that's best of show. Yeah, and lastly, my question is, do you actually wear that hat to, to sleep? Uh, absolutely. Actually, I, every day of the week is a different one. So you just <laughs> caught me on, you know, what I wear on a Friday. On a Friday, so here yeah. We are. Well, we're glad that we caught you. That's for sure. Scott, uh, it sounds like a really fun movie, uh, an interesting watch. Can't wait to see it. Thank you. Yeah, May 9th is the last day to check it out on Hot Docs. You got a couple days left to log on and get your ticket for set and get into this beautiful world. And great title, by the way. Scott, a lot of fun. Thank you. All right, Kelsey has a look at your full national forecast now. <laughs> That that was the that was the incredible interview. That, I, that there were so many things I wasn't expecting <laughs> out of that conversation. That was great. Uh, hey, good morning to you. We're going to look at the next three days.